Well, the coronavirus has hit the local 10 family. Yesterday, we told you five members of our staff tested positive. Including anchor Nicole Perez and her husband, Local 10 reporter Roy Ramos. All five of those employees are experiencing a range of symptoms we have now become so familiar with. All are resting at home, some feeling worse than others, but no one requiring hospitalization. Unfortunately, today we have three additional cases in our family. After we learned of yesterday's positive cases, several employees were tested today. Fortunately, we received many negative test results, but we have three that have come back positive, including a test for anchor Louis Aguirre. Louis is good enough to join us live from home right now. And the first question we have from you, Louis, we see the smile on your face. We want to know, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great, 100%. Uh, no symptoms whatsoever. As a matter of fact, before the phone call uh, alerting me of my, my positive result came in, I was on my exercise bike doing an hour spin class. So <laughs> I feel fantastic. I, that, that's the good thing. That's the upside. Well, you and I, uh, we were in the makeup room yesterday. You had your mask on. I had my mask on. We were talking, and, and you looked just fine. Were you shocked, obviously, when you got the results? And uh, what are you going to do for the next 14 days, uh, assuming that you remain asymptomatic? Um, well, um, I'm going to try to stay connected uh, to uh, my work and our viewership through social media as much as possible and document my experience. I think that's so important. And obviously, I'm going to rest. I'm going to take all the advice of the doctors and what I've been reading so far about what to expect, but I don't know when exactly I became infected, so I'm, I'm taking this day by day. I wasn't surprised just because of the number of people who um, tested positive within our family who I had very close contact with last week. And so I thought um, because those numbers were, were high, I thought that the odds were that I probably too became infected. I didn't feel sick at all. I have not felt sick. so. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this is going to be just my story. You know, this is a very subjective virus. It affects each of us very differently, depending on our, physiolog our, our physiology and our immune system. So I'm hoping that I'm, you know, one of the, uh, the, the lucky ones that gets to experience uh, a mild case of this. But I'm ready for whatever this ride is. And like I said, I, I fully expect to share this experience with our viewers and with my colleagues at work. I think it's very important. Um, you know, we were just talking about contact tracing. I was on the phone all afternoon talking to everyone who I came in contact with that I knew over the past several days. I think it's so important. That's our responsibility yeah. to let people know that this has happened yeah. and to alert them to the possibility that they too may have become infected. Absolutely. If we don't all attack this together, this is never going away. We are one community and we have to start acting like it. And two quick questions. Your best friend in the room with you right now. And what about Matt as well? Uh, Matt is, I got tested uh, this afternoon. Um, his results uh, will take a couple more days. The, the place that I went to today was all the way up in Sunrise, and it was not convenient for him to go all the way up there, so there was a place closer to home. And so he should have res his results within the next 36 hours. Um, so we're going we're gonna to quarantine here at home and play it safe just to begin, uh, just to be careful. And uh, we've got a fully stocked kitchen, so we're, we're good. Um, and, uh, yeah, the most important thing is when you receive um, your diagnosis and it's a positive one, it's yeah. your responsibility to stay at home and to minimize your contact with the outside world. So we're staying in place. We're sheltering at home. Absolutely. We're not going to be with anybody. We're going to stay here and just ride this out. Uh, okay. I was I, I was asking about your dog, too, that's in a room as well. Oh, yeah. Well, are, are you concerned about that? I understood, thank God, that the dogs are asymptomatic and the dogs cannot catch this virus. So yeah. they will keep us company and they will be very happy to have us home for the next two weeks. That's for sure. Well, we're thinking about you, Louie. We're praying for you all. And, of course, we're going to be checking in with you as much as we possibly can. Love you guys. All right. All right. Love you too, brother.